Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so this video is about retouching, as I said before in the intro. Um, so I'm just going to quickly uh, work on this image. Uh, this model uh, is her first time doing a photo shoot. And um, the makeup artist, I'm going to put her link in the description for her Instagram. So you can see her work there. Alright, so let me start with um, applying the frequency separation. If you look right here, it's 16-bit. I'm working in 16-bit, so I'm going to work with a 16-bit um, layer, our frequency separation action. Um, for the radius is 10. That should work perfect for me for this image. And I'm be working on the low frequency uh, layer. Uh, for this panel, or these actions, I'm going to put it in the description so you guys can download it. So you don't really have to worry about creating your own um, actions for the frequency separation. So using the mixer brush, uh, the wetness should be at 2 and always remember to clear your brush if you're seeing any color right here and ensure that this brush is selected as well. So let's start working on this. So just gonna apply the mixer brush to the skin and what I'm doing right now is just softening the um, brush I'm um, sorry the skin itself and also the pimples get my brush a little bit smaller so what I'm doing I'm working on the light areas the highlighted areas and then I'm working on the dark areas so I'm working on those areas separately there are times you can go from dark to um, the light areas just to blend out a little bit like from here like here you can blend it out a little bit but it's not good to go from the lighted area or the highlighted area to the dark area it will not mix properly so um, let me just do right here the chin under the lips alright I'm moving a little bit faster than normal because I don't want this video to be too long alright let's look at the before and after so that's the before that's the after and I'm gonna come down to the finger right here and the back of the hand and right here so if you notice right here we had a mark and we got rid of it by just using the mixer brush and then we can just fix it up or let it look a, a bit better using the um, clone stamp tool so all these areas here that I'm working on I'm actually blending the skin and also flattening the skin so let's look at the before and after now before and after Alright, so quickly I'm going to go to the high frequency layer and go over to my stamp healing brush. Ensure that aligned is on. And what that does actually, for example, if I sample right here, hold on and control and sample right here and paint. If I go over to, well, let me put this at 100%. If I go over here, I don't have to sample. I can just paint because it, you know, automatically select a spot me to work on our work from so there are times though that you have to sample a new um, a section of the skin but you don't have to do that right now or maybe for right here I have to sample something else so it's always good to have this aligned um, option on all right I'm moving pretty fast but remember guys when you're making your edits do not rush the edits just take your time and look for the blemishes on the skin uneven areas blend them out and also use the um, clone stamp tool to remove them all right this area I could just work on it a little bit yeah, that looks good let's look at the before and after after let me just work over this side a little bit on the cheek alright 
that looks good. Let's look at it before, after. All right, so that's done. What I'm gonna do now? Oh, I need to work on right here a little bit, right here. All right. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna apply a um, dodge and burn action. So right here, dodge and burn. I'm gonna start working on the burn layer. I'm gonna press key B on my keyboard for the brush, and then I'm gonna oh. If we put this at one percent for the flow. good and then I'm gonna just darken some of the areas on the face so I'm basically shaping the face right now some areas <clears throat> sorry you have no light going you just darken it a little bit right here under the neck the collarbone the back of my hand you won't catch this in the first the first time that you're editing it's just practice and watching a lot of youtube videos will tell you exactly where to edit and also if you follow the makeup artist while the makeup artist is doing the uh, makeup you can just you know maybe ask questions why the makeup is there why that area is light why, why that area is, is highlighted why that area is dark and stuff like that alright so I'm going to work on my dodge layer now so still at 1% under the eye it's gonna lighten up a little bit under the chin the neck. most time people say that you know the editing takes a long time but not all the time if you if you're experienced if you take your time and learn this how to retouch there are times you're gonna retouch really really fast because you know exactly what you're looking for you know what your image should look like let's look at it before and after so before after so you see the image is flat no it has shape good so what I'm gonna do now is to work on the eyes so click on the clean teeth and eyes <coughs> go to the brush put it at about 29 percent and then we're going to zoom in on the eyes and then we're going to brush and get my brush a little bit smaller just whiten the eye a little bit all right that looks good before and after, before and after. That looks good. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. And let's do a before and after for everything. Oh, it's not in a group. <coughs> so let me just put it in a group first. Oh, don't have to put it in a group. Just put your mouse right here and then hold on an Alt on your keyboard and press before, after, before, after. All right, so let's add a little um, contrast to the image itself. All right, so I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layer right here, and then I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast. For my contrast, I'm gonna put it at 10. Let's do the before and after. Before, after. 10 is good. You could put it at maybe, let me see what 15 looks like. Yeah, 15 looks good. All right, so I'm gonna do a I'm gonna color the image a little bit now. So I'm gonna go back down to the adjustment layer and go to color balance. And then I'm gonna to go to shadows and I'm gonna change this to about five. So let's look at it before and after, before, after. So that's a subtle change, not a lot. All right, and then I'm gonna do something a little bit creative today. All right, have you ever heard about load selection? All right, so let me show you what load selection is. Load selection is basically this. Go to select, load selection, select a selection that you've loaded, that you've saved, and apply it. So how do I create this? Let me show you right now. So what you're going to do, first go to your pen tool, and then you're going to make a selection on the model's face. Alright. So this is a quick selection, just to give you an idea of what um, load selection is. Alright. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go up to where it says select, 
and then we're going to go to save selection when you hit save selection you just type in the name that you'd like this to be for example I could say face test and then click OK then I can control D and if I want to apply this selection at any time on this image I can go to select load selection go to channel and go to face test and OK now it's now it's applied all right so now we're going to add a selection to her face one that I've already saved and I'm going to create an effect on her face basically so let's go right to it so I'm going to go to um, select load selection and then I'm going to go to face because I've created a selection before good so that's my selection what I want to do I want to add a white or a black and white or just a color in this selection here on the model's face right so to do that what I'm going to do I'm going to go down to the adjustment um, layer and I'm going to select uh, black and white and so what that does now it actually creates a mask of the black and white um, adjustment layer so I'm not working on this image here I'm just working on an adjustment layer all right what I'm going to do now I want this section of the face to be white so I'm going to go to where it says um, red in the black and white channel and I'm going to bring it up to about right there then I'm going to go to the yellows and bring it up as well and that looks good but I want to look whiter than what it is right now because right now it looks gray a little bit all right so I'm going to go back to the adjustment layer and then I'm going to go to curves and then I'm going to push up the curves a little bit and to apply it on this white area I'm going to just come down right here and it applies it only on this layer here if you would like to make adjustment to this um, layer on the model's face it's pretty easy what you do is to click on this uh, the mask and then ensure that you have your move tool available control T and then you can just right click and go to warp and then you can just move um, different sections of this layer so I'm gonna zoom it up a little bit because I want to make some adjustment over here and then I'm just gonna move this down a little bit right here and this side over a little bit let me see good this side as, as well Um, yeah that looks good all right I'm gonna do a little bit more adjustment on this section here go control all right, um. bring this down a little bit let me see so about right there um, let me go back to warp so you just have to play around with the um, the selection or the layer until you get it to exact um, fit you know of the face it may take a little time but it all depends on how well you work um, with the pen tool because if I actually made a better selection I wouldn't have to be doing this right now so so basically I'm trying to fix right here because I think I'm going to um, erase the part that is on our ear right there I think that looks good let's press enter actually no gonna have to pull it over a little bit more so maybe I'm just gonna stretch this a little bit like right here press enter it's not perfect but you get the idea um, but I'm gonna erase this section here let me get my pen tool again uh, where's my pen tool All right, P on the keyboard and then I'm just gonna click right here to right here 
Let's make a little adjustment right here. Then, wait. Click right here to break it, and then come over here. Make a selection. Ensure that you're on the mask. Then you can just press delete on your keyboard. All right. So we got to fix right here a little bit. Maybe a little curve should do the trick. And then we're going to delete again on the keyboard. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So, yeah, that's basically it. You made a selection on the model's face. We could fix here a little bit more. Let me just go back on this layer, control. Uh, go back to warp and pull this down a little bit. Good. We have to watch um, each section of it when you're making the adjustment because it may not be perfect. So you have to make some adjustment. All right. So I think I'm finished with the um, with the thing on the model's face, but I wonder if I should remove this section here. Let me remove it and see what it looks like. I'm using my pen tool to make the selection again. All right. Hold on. Come around here. To about right there. And then, oh, it should be on the layer again, on the masking layer. That doesn't look bad. Um, let me do this one as well. All right. Actually, after me, I have to come right here first. And then come over here. Selection and delete. That doesn't look bad at all. Hmm. Yeah, so I like this. Alright, I wonder if I should um, add the, the hand selection as well. Let's see how it looks. I'm just going to go back to load selection. Go to the hand. Alright, and then I'm going to go down to the adjustment layer. I'm going to go to um, black and white again, and then I'm going to make some adjustments to it and see what it looks like. All right. Then I'm going to go to curves. Well, yeah, curves. Bring it up a little bit. And then this. I'm going to come down to um, adjustment layer again, and I'm going to go to uh, brightness and contrast. And then I'm going to make some adjustments to this as well. Pin it here. Um, not sure if I like the um, the hand. Look how cool that is. <laughs> but I don't think I like the the hand. Um, I think it's too much. Maybe I could add. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, don't think I like the hand. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of these two um, layers. And that's the image. So now we're going to save the image for Instagram. So we're going to go to Export and Save for Web. The size I normally use is 1,200. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. Good. And I'm going to pull it up now. That's the finished product. All right, guys. I hope you learned something new. Remember to subscribe, like my video, share it. And more video coming soon. Thanks for watching.